This is the new Luma Pro, the latest pair of ARs, more viewers from Vichir. Glasses with the ability to let you watch movies, play games with a giant monitor in front of you. It's iris, it's bright, and it also has something magical. As I took one of the coolest features of the crazy expensive Apple Vision Pro and made it better. As we can make every movie, every picture, every game, everything 3D in real time. And that's amazing. Hey, Tai here, so welcome to the VR Tech channel. Apparently, this is just one piece of the puzzle. As Vichir actually showed not one, not two, not three, but actually four different glasses coming this year, with the biggest and baddest one in October, the Beast. But there's something from every taste, so let's discover the lineup and the pro together in this video. Let's get into it. Alright, let's start as always with a little unboxing because in the box we're gonna find a nice instruction plate with all the functionalities and QR codes for the software, the glasses in their case and all the accessories needed, like the additional nose pieces. An air friendly cover that I have no clue how to use it and a quick start guide to learn about the glasses and about that, well, let's get to the glasses, shall we? These are gonna be in their carrying case with their magnetic cable and yeah, they look very good in this semi-transparent plastic to be able to see the internals as well. It's pretty sweet. We have the volume buttons and the dimming on the side as you can dim the lenses to get more contrast out of them and on the other side, the function button for on and off IPD, etc. Uh, we have three-way adjustable rake position and the rakes themselves are a bit flexible for matter comfort with also Harman audio speakers in there. Mm -hmm. And on the left side, a light matrix. On the front, we have the camera for a future 6DF tracking, diopter adjustment on top from zero to less 4D for myopia, and on the right, attachment for the cable to connect them to our devices. Oh, and not to forget the best part of these glasses, the two 1200p micro OLED screens with the new improved Burbath optics. And I'm very curious about this as they have a higher resolution than everything else in the market right now. Vitcher, by the way, also sent over some assessments Series, like the new Virtual Pro mobile dock that has full support for Switch 2 and gives the ability to connect two glasses at once, pretty sweet, and some different controllers. Hey, what are these? These are AR Smart Viewers, allowing you to use apps, their proprietary front end, play games, watch movies, recast the screen of your phone, or even add additional monitors to your laptop, and even making everything 3D, no matter of the content. It's pretty straightforward. You connect them to your devices that support a USB Type-C display out, and well, you're in, all in a giant monitor floating right in front of you. And this is thanks to the two micro OLED displays with a resolution of 1920 by 1200 running up to 120 Hz with a peak brightness of a thousand nits that will be reflected right to your eyes. And I'm gonna be honest, these are the sharpest uh, AR Smart viewers I ever tried so far. We want one of the biggest screens too, getting around 52 degrees FOV. That is six degrees more than their predecessors. And just to put it in perspective, the equivalent of a 152 inches TV at around three meters distance. So yeah, a big TV. The colors are vivid and a cool perk is there's even a menu to control them with true color, vivid, film, warm and cold option. And the contrast is great thanks to the OLED technology and the fact that you can dim the lenses of the glasses just pushing this button to create even more contrast with the outside world. So yeah, uh, regular glasses, sunglasses, regular glasses, sunglasses, regular glasses, Sunglasses, that's how it works. By the way, with the same button double clicking, you can activate a light strip and all then you get to the SBS mode to watch your 3D movies. And about the 3D, I wish I could show you what I'm seeing right now because Vichir is a software feature that is absolutely mind blowing and kind of like the killer app for me. It's called Immersive 3D. Uh, I can show you over here. You can install it on your PC, your Mac, uh, your Rogalai and even on your phone and it will convert everything you see in 3D real time using AI so no matter of the input so right now for example I am on the desktop and I can see the windows floating in front of me at the different distance and also in a different plane that plane compared to the wallpaper for example and if I start a game that will look like 3D even if the game itself doesn't natively support it by the way they made a controller in collaboration with the 8 bit though uh, it's semi-transparent too, uh, it's pretty sick. So yeah, the 3D happens because it uses AI to understand in real time the content, uh, creating a depth in every situation. 
uh, personal pictures in games and programs and even in movies. So yeah, you don't have to wait for the 3D version of a movie to actually watch it in 3D anymore. That's pretty sweet. I mean, it's not perfect as it's not native, of course. Sometimes you get some artifacts around small details and something like that. But it's really damn impressive. I can stop playing games like that right now. As before, I had to hack everything. I had to use reshade, understand the depth channels on the, every game. Like, nothing anymore. It's just click a button, everything is 3D and it's glorious. I mean, I'm a VR enthusiast. Everything needs to be 3D, at least. For the rest, you have Spacewalker, their software that will give you 3D of tracking, apparently 6D you have in a future update on the Luma Pro, thanks to the small camera here in the center. That means that you will be able to set a screen in a particular space and be able to walk around, and that will stay in place like a big giant TV, a real one. On PC and Mac, you also have the option to create multiple screens for a full workstation with a ultra wide, ultra, ultra wide to screens, to screens, vertical, horizontal, well. You get the point. So there's so much to talk about these glasses and feature in general with all their accessories, uh, like the dock to actually use two glasses at the same time for co-op games, it's not just like watching TV together. And it's pretty awesome. Uh, their controller in collaboration with 8B2 and also Another controller where you put your phone inside, you use it like a switch. That is super cool indeed with also personal software for it. By the way, the dock is already fully compatible with the Switch 2. But yeah, Vichir decided to complicate my life, unveiling not one, not two, not three, but actually four different glasses coming this year. The Luma, the Luma Pro, the one that I have over here and available right now. The Luma Ultra and the Beast. Yeah, uh, that's the actual name. The Luma will be the entry level at $399 with the 50 degrees FOV, still 1200p and the 3D OF space walker possibility. And it will be coming in September. The Luma Pro instead will be $100 more or with additional camera in front of the Harman Audio. By the way, I didn't talk about it, but the audio is very good and loud as well. And the bigger FOV, as we said. Then at $599, targeted to prosumers and enterprises, the Luma Ultra is low amazing uh, and they have the newer screen from Sony reaching 1250p and full 60 UF support thanks to the three cameras one RGB and two depth sensors for special applications special computing with even the support for hand gestures uh, that will come later in August and I'm very excited about this but in October well in October is time for the beast still can't believe it is the actual name with even bigger FOV at 58 degrees so 170 inches circa TV at 3 meters distance thanks to the new Sony screens with again 1250 nits and even dynamic dimming. This time with integrated 3D OF support, so no need for any additional software. But if you use Spacewalker, you will get over here as well 60 OF thanks uh, to the front camera. Six degrees of freedom. So yeah, all the top end functionalities for $549. And hopefully I'm gonna be able to show it to you in the future as I'm very excited about it. So yeah, it might look overwhelming, many different options, but they all retain the same optical stack on them. So you get the same quality out of it. That is great. It's about the fluff that you want on it. So yeah, what do I think about them? Uh, to be honest, I'm impressed. As I said, these are probably the sharpest glasses I've tried so far, and that's a big deal, with close to non distortions on the edges, and they have a killer app that immersive 3D things that made me fell in love for the Vichir ecosystem, let's say. I mean, playing X4 in full 3D or even No Rest for the Wicked felt so much more immersive. And I can't wait for the Beast to arrive to actually use those things using the 3D OF tracking to have it like an actual 3D TV in front of me. But yeah, put in a small list of pros and cons. The sharpness is very good thanks to the 1200p resolution and the immersive 3D uh, is just the killer app over here. And also as an ecosystem, it's great to have a big array of accessories available. As cons, I will say the 3D accuracy, uh, it's amazing to have it. It still needs some work, of course, but this first integration is just amazing already, totally enjoyable. And I will say the pro that I tried the lack of uh, integrated 3D OF tracking, but that will arrive uh, with the Beast if that's important for you. Overall though, I'm really nitpicking over here. Feature created a great package. Personally, I can wait for the Beast just because I'm a techie guy and uh, I just want more, always more. But yeah, for now, I'll be keep enjoying my pros 
uh, using the immersive 3D app to play everything in 3D. What do you think about them? Which one would you choose? The Luma at a very appealing price, the Ultra for all the AR future functionalities, the Pro or the Beast? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, guys, if you liked the video, like. If you didn't like the video, like. Subscribe to the channel for more of VR tech. If you really love the channel, just button down there. Little down further, also the Patreon. Thanks to the Patreon for so joining the channel, of course. I see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Ciao. The Beast.